Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on distance time graphs. This is the second video on this topic, so if you've not watched the first one yet, then I recommend you watch that first, uh, because in that video we went through an example and broke down what each section of the distance time graph means. Uh, but here we're going to go through another example, uh, so we'll start off then. So Valentina is going for a bike ride. The distance time graph shown describes her full journey. And then for part A we have to say how long she was stationary for. So if she's stationary, that means she's not moving. Uh, so that means her distance isn't changing. Uh, in other words, it's the flat part of the graph, uh, which is this bit here. Now, if we look at the time scale, uh, we can see that across two squares, we travel. A, uh, we go a time, sorry, of 15 minutes. So that means in one big square, we go seven and a half minutes. Uh, so the amount of time she was stationary for is 7.5 minutes, or seven minutes, 30 seconds, if you prefer to write it like that. So moving on to part B then. What was the total distance travelled during her journey? Well, uh, you might initially think that the total distance travelled uh, is just the maximum distance away from home. Uh, but the thing is, if she's travelled this distance away from home, so that's to the maximum distance here, so that's 25 kilometres, she's then got to travel back. Uh, so she then goes 25 kilometres in the other direction, back towards the starting point. Uh, so she's gone 25 kilometres one way, 25 kilometres back. So 25 plus 25 is 50 kilometers. So that's the total distance that she's traveled during her journey. Finally then, let's move on to part C. So what was her average speed in kilometers per hour between 7.15 and 7.45? Uh, well, let's start off by marking these points on the graph. So 7.15 is here, 7.45 is here. So the part of the graph we're interested in uh, is this section here. Uh, so in order to get the speed, uh, we find the gradient, which is the distance divided by the time. So, uh, what's the distance travelled? Well, uh, she's gone from a distance of 5 kilometres to a distance of 25 kilometres. So that distance is 20 kilometres. And the time taken, if she's gone from, uh, if it's taken her, sorry, from 7.15 to 7.45, that's uh, 30 minutes or 0 0.5 hours. Uh, so her speed is 20 kilometres divided by 0 0.5 hours, which is 40 kilometers per hour. If you want to test your strength on this topic, then why not have a go at our online exam? It's available through our revision platform and you find loads of different questions here, all of which you'll get instant feedback on so you can keep track of the areas that you need to improve at. Uh, if you're interested, then click the link below and it will take you straight there.